Local radio from the heart of the Cotswolds, NCCR. Hello, good afternoon. How are you, Sophia? I'm very well indeed, thank you. Well, thank you for joining us here on the North Cotswold Community Radio Station. You can listen online. We're here at the Morton Show, and you're kindly going to play some music. You're a songwriter, kind of in the style of Tori Amos and Enya. That's how you describe yourself, that's right? That's right. My piano playing is, yeah. yeah. Good. But you're actually going to be playing acoustic guitar for us, even though you're a piano player as well as a songwriter and singer. Um, you want to play 14 years? Yes, I do, yeah. yeah There's a song written about my father. Uh, he died when I was 14 years old. And um, it was at that moment in time that I put pen to paper and started writing songs. Great. Okay, let's listen to it then, please. Put me to bed one more time. That was lovely, Sophia. Really nice. So tell me a little bit about that song then, please. Okay, that was written um, when my father died when I was 14. Um, and I've always been writing songs before that, but not really seriously. And it was at that moment, that significant moment in my, t- my life, that I thought I'll put pen to paper and... Um, and just really start getting some of these songs down. It was a way of voicing my emotions. Yes, and you, um, because I asked you earlier, we had a little chat before this. Um, You're self-taught. How long did that take you to, because you're also, you're predominantly a piano player, aren't you? Did you have lessons on that? Did you also teach yourself to play the piano? You sound absolutely so talented. Yes, no, no, I didn't have lessons at all. Um, Completely self-taught. I used to sit and watch my parents. My mother used to play the piano, classical music on the piano. And, and as, a, as a very young, young well, toddler, I used to be sitting in the corner listening to her playing um, with this, this vast, you know, this, this instrument that was, it was frightening for, for sort of a two or three year old child because of the, the depth of the, of the piano and the way she played. And I just admired her, you know, admired her completely. So you come from a musical family, you're naturally talented. Um, you also mentioned that you have a son. And he also, I mean, I presume he plays an instrument too? He does. He plays the alto saxophone. Um, I have a, a son who's 13 and a half and my daughter who is seven. Um, but he's in the swing band today, the Chipping Camden Swing Band. Um, and it's something that he loves to do. And I'm so, so proud of him for that. And, the, you know, he, the musical side of him, I hope, will stay with him for the rest of his life too. How about your daughter? Um, she plays the ukulele. So ah, <laughs> That's an up and coming instrument, the ukulele. <laughs> It's coming so hip! <laughs> yeah, well, Benjamin also plays it in the, the school of starting up a ukulele yeah. orchestra, so they, they play with that as well. So it is, it's a fun instrument, and, and we love trad jazz, so it's, it's good. And let's talk about the guitar that you're playing with now, because they're, they're, you know, the instruments, they're amazing. Um, so you said you've also got a tango uh, guitar, was that right? Which one's this one you're playing at the moment? Right, this is a Tanglewood guitar. Ah. Um, I went in and tried several of them, and this mm. is the one that I felt very comfortable with. Um, I love the tone, mm-hmm. and it, it goes well with my voice, so I yeah, enjoy that. It's very compatible. And which is the other guitar that you brought with you? Um, that one's a Fender, um, which is a beautiful sound as well, but uh, for outside, this is, this is good. Car as well. Okay, and you've written a few songs and you're developing an album. Where are you? Are you doing this at home? Are you going to a studio? Who's helping you produce your music? I go to the George Schilling studio in Walford. Um, we're nearly completed the, the album In A Voice. Um, and that is just the piano, the voice and the cello, which uh, George is playing the cello for me. And it just works really well, really well indeed. Fantastic. I also wanted to ask you um, another question. Yeah, so you do come from a musical family. And why now is it? Is it because of the confidence um, you've decided to, to make an album? You know, I mean, what did you do before? As I said, I did make an album um, quite a while back, probably about 14 years ago. But having children and things like that, you mm. put your life on hold and my, my musical life on hold, should I say. But I feel that my children have got to the age now where I can sort of take a bit of me time and, and just try and develop further. My musical side is telling me I've got to do this now. 
You are musical, you are creative. Did you have a normal job? I mean, were you like daydreaming and thinking, I really need to get back to my music? What was your normal job? I'm just interested. I'm sure all the aspiring musicians out there, you know, they've probably got a desk job or something like that, haven't quite got the confidence to, you know, say, right, this is it. I'm going to, you know, invest in my music and, and, and you know, I have a talent and follow my dream. So what, what were you doing before? My, my, my main job that I've done for sort of 17 years was a, I was a funeral director, which is a bit of an unusual job. But it's Absolutely. It's exactly, but it's sort of 24 hours on call. So that was a very emotionally demanding and another reason why I could not put my whole self into my music. Um, but now I've decided that this will come first. And just before we finish off, your CD is going to be finished by the end of this year. What's it called? My CD is called Inner Voice, and obviously it will be available, and I'm sure that Rob, Rob will be able to tell people about that. You should sell it on Amazon. And you're just going to play for us your final track today. It's um, called Life in Your Hands. Okay, thank you very much indeed. Thank you, Sophia. Thank you very much, Sophia. Thank you very much. You have been listening to Sophia Dady on the North Cotswold Community Radio. You can listen online. Her album will be out by the end of the year. Good luck. Thank you. Local radio from the heart of the Cotswolds, NCCR.